Good news in the Super League. Leaders FC Santa Rosa ran into a roadblock at the St. James Barracks and had to settle for a point. Ruskin Mark has more on this and a big win for Wasa over Mathura in St. Joseph. Wasa started like gangbusters and threatened to blow the Maruga outfit off the park, coming close on a number of occasions, but they had nothing to show for their efforts early. But the crossboard proved to be the Achilles heel of the visitors and on 24 minutes they were exposed once again and Glenn Walker made them pay, one to nothing, Wasa. And as if unable to adjust to Wasa's wing attack, Maturo looked at sea every time the ball came across their goal and only a deflection took this one out of harm's way. But Wasa would persist by raining crosses into the box and this time they got lucky when an unfortunate bounce off the knee of defender Kern Joseph ended up in his own net for two to nothing in the 41st. And Wasa would make it three before the interval when this shot was tugged wide but there was an alert walker to tidy up with his second of the afternoon and Wasa went to the break three nothing up. But Tura sprang to life in the second session and showed some enterprise after a stern talking to at the break. But the effort would bear fruit eventually and it was payback time as Wasa's defense couldn't handle a low cross and there was Kern Vincent on spot to tap home for 3-1 to in the 78. And there would have more reasons to celebrate when the referee pointed to the spot for this clumsy tackle in the area. Up steps Brendan Figaro to cut the lead to just one at 3-2, but that was all the scoring in this one and Wasa earned all three points for a 3-2 victory. Down at the St. James Barracks, FC Santa Rosa huffed and puffed in the lawmen's home turf but couldn't break through. Time and again, they had good looks but were denied at every turn. The lawmen also had their moments but they too couldn't hit pay dirt as the radar was slightly off at both ends and this one ended goalless between Santa Rosa and police. Ruskin Mark, Z Sports.